Hello America. I am Dan America. America, we have problems. Fortunately, I have solutions. Because I have appointed it my duty to enrich American culture and restore the spirit of America. I have found that America has been without an all-American hero since 1976. We need another Marion Morris in America. We need a new John Wayne. Because the Duke was such an inspiration to generations of America. He was the role model. And he was a booster. But I feel that it's about time we declare our own America. And I've overanalyzed many of possible candidates using three strict standards in which the Duke established himself. And I have come down to two. It's been a close race, America. However, I'm happy to announce that Kevin Costner is the new John Wayne. Why? I'll tell you. Like John Wayne, Kevin Costner was born in America. And just like the President of the United States of America, the new John Wayne ought to be born in America. John Wayne was primarily in westerns, war movies, and all-American action movies. Kevin Costner has been in seven sports movies, four of them about baseball, four westerns, and two movies about JFK. But that's not important. What's important is the third and most crucial standard. That being the very standard in which Kevin Costner and John Wayne just may have mastered. This is also the standard in which helps Kevin Costner surpass the other candidates for the th mantle of John Wayne. That being that John Wayne and Kevin Costner are not actors. They're all American movie stars. What's the difference? An actor acts like a character in a movie. An all-American movie star is the movie. Owns the movie. America. And that's exactly what Kevin Costner is. And to Kevin Costner's credit, in Bull Durham, Chasing Dreams, and for love of the game, he was Kevin Costner, the baseball player. Then, in Field of Dreams, the very spirit of baseball commands Kevin Costner to build a baseball diamond in his cornfield, on his American farm, so that the spirits of baseball players can play the American pastime. Then, he personifies himself as the all-American movie star in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves where he denies the character of English folklore so much of a whimper of an English accent. But he gives him plenty of Kevin Costner. Then, in the four westerns he's in, Kevin Costner almost surpasses the Duke. Not just because he's being in westerns just like the Duke, but because in Silverado, Wyatt Earp, and Open Range, the old American frontier was just a stage for Kevin Costner. Then, in Dances with Wolves, Kevin Costner actually out-Costners himself. Because he is Kevin Costner directing Kevin Costner as Kevin Costner, taming the Wild West. And when he tripled the Costner, he got an Oscar. Not even the Duke could do that. Kevin Costner even rewrites American history just by being Kevin Costner. In 13 days, he helped the Kennedys resolve the Cuban Missile Crisis. Then, in JFK, Kevin Costner helps uncover the conspiracy behind the murder of John F. Kennedy. Then, for $175 million, for $135 minutes, we got a glimpse of Kevin Costner's interpretation of the future. We're in a water world, 
there's a new species of fish. And that new species of fish, his name is Kevin Costner, and he's even a self-sufficient fish. He drinks his own pee. Or maybe he's just keeping himself full of Kevin Costner. And 300 miles to Graceland, Kevin Costner was the worst Elvis impersonator ever. But he was the best Kevin Costner impersonating Elvis if Elvis were Costner ever. Then there was the Untouchables. Elliot Ness founded the Untouchables. But when Kevin Costner got a hold of the role of his likeliness, Kevin Costner became the untouchable. Then, Whitney Houston sang a little song, I Will Always Love You. It was the greatest selling, chart-topping, award-winning American song of all time. And she was singing it for the bodyguard, Kevin Costner. And then, in the most unrealistic movie, where an American vote actually counts, the vote belongs to Kevin Costner. Now, America, Kevin Costner is the new John Wayne. To help my case, and if there is any doubt, let's see. What other actors, I'm sorry, movie stars, can compare to Costner and Wayne. Tom Hanks, you say? Well, Tom Hanks is too much of an actor, not enough of a movie star. Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp may have played a pirate a little too often, but Johnny Depp is too much of an actor. Besides, I hear he lives in France. You know what I think of that? <coughs> I almost puked there. Then we have none other than Vin Diesel, who is just terrible. Terrible. Clint Eastwood had his chance until he crossed over the bridges of Madison County. Harrison Ford portrays the same character in two different series of movies. What's wrong with that? Well, one of them takes place a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. That's not very relatable for an American. Then, and the other, he's an American archaeologist who can never seem to stay in America. And then, in the fourth movie, Harrison Ford attempts to pass the torch to Shia LaBeouf. Is that what you want, America? For when other countries think of us? To think Shia LaBeouf? I didn't think so. Other than that, there is none other than John Travolta, who has been typecasted as a twinkle toes in too many of his movies. Tom Cruise comes off like a drunk aunt who ruins a wedding reception. Other than that, does anyone even know who Richard Roundtree is? Then there's Sylvester Stallone, who I feel is responsible for the behavior of the four male members of the cast of the Jersey Shore. However, their behavior is as if Rocky never even got to challenge Apollo Creed. Other than that, Stallone, what disqualifies you from being the new John Wayne? Well, that's just six words. Stop or my mom will shoot. America, Kevin Costner is the new John Wayne. If not for what he does in his movies, for what he does off the silver screen as well, all John Wayne ever did was confuse us as to where he stood politically, and Joseph Stalin wanted him dead. What did Kevin Costner do? Well, when America had a time of crisis, when the BP oil spill threatened the American Gulf Coast, Kevin Costner had a solution. 
And that's why Kevin Costner is my personal favorite. Because like me, Kevin Costner has solutions for America, not problems. Just like in The Postman, in a post-apocalyptic American world, Kevin Costner is the very thread that is the stitch holding our American culture together by being the one-man American Postal Service. And in his future roles, I hear he's going to add a fifth Western. Not only that, he's going to harbor an illegal alien. But don't worry, America, because that illegal alien is Superman. Thank you, America. I'm Dan America.